opinion from the street side. Premier Sport Fan Center. Here we talk to fans about their respective uh, clubs and we hear their views, what their thoughts are on their respective club. So we will go here what fans have to say and our focal match for the weekend. Big, big, big matches line up. Uh, Liverpool versus Chelsea, Manchester City versus Wolf, Arsenal versus uh, Bonamon, they will be playing away from home, and Manchester United versus big matches line up uh, for the weekend so we'll be going to hear the fans what their opinions are about their respective club yeah, remember this is fans opinion from the street side i have with me what is your name bro kelvin courage all right kelvin courage so courageous at this moment so uh which um uh, team are you supporting Manchester United. Wow, wow, Manchester United. You can Manchester United. You know, uh, well, well, you can see, so Manchester United are very shy to support um, uh, Manchester United right now, but you can see the courage. This is what um, Manchester, we can call them Manchester United for life. When I say Manchester United for life, every time, every season, every weather, whether in good condition, whether in bad condition. But hey, I know, how are you feeling about your team right now? Um, honestly, I'm not shy about my team, or I'm not disappointed about my team. Um, but uh, let me start with the board. Um, I believe in future we can do much better. Let me start from, uh, from the board. Uh, I don't know why they couldn't give Carrick a little bit of chance to coach Manchester United. Again, if my U is going to change, we need to start from the board, from the dressing room. Everything needs to be changed. Everything needs to be renovated. And um, um, Eric. Uh, I don't know what to say about him, honestly. Um, okay, let me believe he's trying his best. Like I said, I believe in my team. We're going to get there. It's just a matter of time. But we need to start with the management, with the board first. Changing the dressing room, changing a lot of things in Manchester United. Um, that's it. All right, um, the last meeting held by Manchester United management, including the uh, co-owner, um, uh, Jim Ratcliffe, you know, after the meeting, a lot of expectation from Chelsea fans. They were expecting to hear the breaking news that uh, Eric Ten Hag has been sacked, but it did not happen. And uh, some of them were putting on gloomy face. And one saving grace for Eric Ten Hag is the co-owner Jim Ratcliffe, who uh, we still stick with uh, Ten Hag. Are you disappointed with that meeting? I'm not going to say I'm disappointed. The board knows what they are doing, and. Um, um, if I'm a Chelsea fan, I should be ashamed of myself, you know, um, putting a uh, consideration in what's not their business, you know, putting mind in Manchester United business, <laughs> understand? So, um, like I, ah, I wish, ah, I wish a Chelsea fan is here now. <laughs> it's none of my business, like, uh, uh, who does that? You have your own problems and, um, yes, apparently I'm in 14th place in the table, but uh, last year I chased them out from coming to Europa. I hope you know that. Um, I don't know if they, they can see me chasing fans. Uh, it's none of my business, you know, sir. Um, that season, um, I finished, um, I finished um, below Chelsea and um, still won the Europa. I mean, still won the um, FA, buying my tickets to Europa. So I'm not bothered about Chelsea. Um, like I said, I don't need anybody to help me when it comes to Chelsea. You know what I'm saying? So that's it. I don't have much to say about Chelsea. You understand? So what's the next question? All right. <laughs> All right. Uh, um, now, are you in support? Because I've asked so many Manchester United uh, fans this question. Are you in support of the sack of Eric Ten Hag? Okay. Um, like I said earlier, I need changes in Manchester United. I need to start from the board. You understand? You know, Ronaldo actually said this a long time ago. In most of the legends said this. Um, Mourinho also said it. There is a lot of things behind my board. It's not easy to be a coach in Manchester United. And um, um, Ronaldo said it. Uh, Mourinho said it also. I think Zlatan also made mention of that. So I'm not going to blame the coach. Um, um, always time. Always, always time was actually... I, I, I was thinking then a lot of things was going to change, but I don't know. I, I don't actually blame the man. I requested for funds um, to buy players, uh, but it didn't happen then. But now, I, if you ask me from now to tomorrow, 
I always say that um, the boards, we need to start from the boards first before, you know, facing other, blaming, uh, keep, uh, putting the blame on other coaches. So, the boards first. Thank you. All right, all right. Um, I'm talking about the Manchester United. Despite uh, all these um, uh, uh, issues surrounding Manchester United, not doing well so far this season, you know, um, but you can still pick one or two players. Let me let's say, can you pick like two, three players that you can see at any time, yeah, they're still doing well with Manchester United. Not just look at the bad side, but also look at those players who are willing to give their all for Manchester United right now. Okay, let me start with the players. Uh, they are playing with all their hearts, you understand? Though all of them, they are actually doing well, playing with their hearts. But if you say I should pick, I can pick, but I would love to pick all, you understand? It's starting from the goalkeeper to the striker. They are all doing well. And recently, in the last month award, you know, Onana was the, uh, uh, the, 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 the save of the month. I won that the save of the month award. Yeah, the match against um, Crystal Palace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, the young man is doing well, trying to um, prove himself. Um, there are a lot of um, side talks about him. Um, yeah, he has done a lot of mistakes. Nobody's above mistakes. You understand? I regret. Um, I regret. I'm not. I'm not going to say I regret. I'm not the board, but I miss uh, David De Gea. Uh, yeah, that was one of my mentor. Yeah. So um, not just a mentor. He's someone I look up to. Like I, I love seeing him um, play football. And he's back in Italian league. Yes, actually, and he's actually doing very. He's doing very well. Um, saved two penalties in a game yeah. with um. Yeah. You are really familiar with him. How do you know this? I do follow up with him. I follow him up on Instagram, right. Twitter. I watch a lot of his highlights in Sun. So, um, I I I started watching him right from small. Uh, I couldn't watch um, I couldn't watch more of uh, Van der Sar. Uh, I only saw his highlights because age and stuff. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, Onana is actually proving himself, you understand? Nobody's above mistake, like I said. Right, your match on uh, the weekend, for the weekend this, uh, uh, this weekend, is against uh, uh, Brentford. Against Brentford. Manchester United against Brentford. Yeah, against Brentford on, uh, on, uh, during the weekend. That's Saturday or Sunday also. Yeah, so um, what are your take? Do you think Manchester United will bounce back after two draws back to back? Do you think they're going to get their first win after you know a lot of pressure on Eric Ten Hag? Yeah, I'm sure of that the players they are going to try their best, every possible place to climb the table. You know, we actually in fourth position, so it's no good for us. Yeah, I believe in my team. They're going to get there. What's your prediction for the match? Um, Manchester United. Um, 3-1. Three, 3-1. One. Three, one. All right, thank you very much. Thank you very much for getting us interview. You can hear him. He said 3-1 for Manchester United. He believe in Man U. Man U for life. Glory, glory, Man United. Yeah, thank you. <laughs>